Hello my dear friends welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have another very very interesting radical equation problem which we are going to solve for the real values of x. Here x cannot be equal to negative 2 as negative 2 will generate indeterminate form in our LHS. So let's get started by writing our equation fifth root of x plus 2. We can write x plus 1 plus 1 in denominator we will write fifth root of 3x plus 33 we can write 3x plus 3 plus 30 plus fifth root of 30x plus 33 we will write 30x plus 30 plus 3 in rhs we have one third Now I will take 3 common from here and 30 common from these two terms. So we will write our equation fifth root of x plus 1 plus 1 over fifth root of 3 is common. In bracket we will write x plus 1. Then we have plus 30 plus fifth root of 30 is common. In bracket we will get x plus 1. Then we have plus 3. RHS is 1 over 3. Now let us assume x plus 1 equal to y. So I will write our equation as fifth root of y plus 1 in the numerator. In denominator, we will write fifth root of 3y plus 30 plus fifth root of 30y plus 3 equal to one third. Now x cannot be equal to minus 2, so I can say y cannot be equal to minus 1. So we can flip numerator and denominator. So let's consider reciprocal both sides. I will get equation fifth root of 3y plus 30 plus fifth root of 30y plus 3. This will be numerator. Denominator will be fifth root of y plus 1 and RHS will become the reciprocal of 1 over 3 will be 3 or we can write our equation fifth root of 3y plus 30 over y plus 1 plus fifth root of 30y plus 3 over y plus 1 equal to 3. Now we can use substitutions. Let us say first radicand equal to a power 5 and second radicand we will call this is b power 5. So the very first equation which we can write from here fifth root of a power 5 which is a plus fifth root of b power 5 which is b equal to 3. This is our equation number 1. Let's calculate a power 5 plus b power 5. So we will write our common denominator y plus 1 as it is. Then we will add a numerator terms 3y plus 30 plus 30y plus 3 which will give us 33y plus 33. So 33 is common in bracket y plus 1. Denominator is also y plus 1. So these two terms will get over. We will get 33. So I can write our second equation. a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 33. This is our equation number 2. 
Now I will use binomial expansion for a plus b whole power 5. This is equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 plus 5ab in bracket a cube plus b cube plus 10 a square b square times a plus b. Now we will plug in all the values. a plus b was 3. So I will write 3 power 5 here. a power 5 plus b power 5 was 33. We will write 33 here plus 5 times ab. a cube plus b cube is unknown. So we can write here our equation number 1 a plus b equal to 3. Now we can use algebraic formula a cube plus b cube. This is equal to a plus b whole cube minus 3ab times a plus b. Let's plug in a plus b equal to 3. So we will write here 3 cube minus 3 times ab times 3. Now we can take 3 common out. So in bracket we will get 3 square is 9 minus 3 ab. I will write here times 3 times 9 minus 3 ab plus 10 times 3. a plus b is 3. So 10 times 3 is 30 a square b square. Now equation is divisible by 5. So we will divide this equation by 5. So I will write here divided by 3, divided by 3, divided by 3 and divided by 3. We can write LHS 3 power 4. RHS will be 11. This 3 and 3 will be over. We will write 5AB in bracket 9 minus 3AB. 30 over 3 is 10 a square b square. Now 3 power 4 is 81. 81 minus 11. So we can write here 70 equal to 5ab times 9 45ab. 5ab times minus 3ab minus 15 a square b square. Then we have 10 a square b square. Now we will simplify a bit. We will write 70 equal to 45 a b minus 5 a square b square. Let me write this equation here. 70 equal to 45 a b minus 5a square b square. Let's divide this equation by 5. We will get 14 equal to 9ab minus a square b square. Take all the terms to LHS. We will get one quadratic equation in ab. a square b square minus 9ab plus 14 equal to 0. Now we can see the factors of 14 as 7 times 2 and if I will add both we will get middle term coefficient only 9. So I can factor our equation as ab minus 2 ab minus 7 equal to 0. From product 0 rule we can write ab equal to 2 ab equal to 7. Now I will write our first equation. a plus b was 3. So from here I can write b will be equal to 3 minus a. So I can write a times 3 minus a equal to 2 equal to 7 or 3a minus a square equal to 2 equal to 7. 
Now take all the terms to RHS. We can frame two quadratic equations. First one a square minus 3a plus 2 equal to 0. This is our first quadratic equation. Second equation would be a square minus 3a plus 7 equal to 0. Now we have to solve these two equations. Let us consider one by one. First equation a square minus 3a plus 2 equal to 0. I can see the factors of 2 as 2 times 1. So I can split minus 3a as minus a minus 2 plus 2 equal to 0. a is common from first 2, we will get a minus 1 in the bracket. Minus 2 is common from last 2, we will get a minus 1 in the bracket equal to 0. Now a minus 1 is common. We will get second factor a minus 2 equal to 0. So from here we are getting either a equal to 1 or a equal to 2 from product 0 rule. Now we will consider our second quadratic equation. Equation was a square minus 3a plus 7 equal to 0. Let us check discriminant value d equal to as per formula b square minus 4ac. So b is minus 3. We will write minus 3 square minus 4 times capital A is coefficient of small a square which is 1. C is constant so 7. We will write here 9 minus 28. Now discriminant is coming out minus 19 which is negative. So this quadratic will generate complex solutions. So we can reject this quadratic equation as we are looking for real solutions only. So accepted a value would be a equal to 1, a equal to 2. a equal to 1, a equal to 2. If you remember our substitution was, if I will write here 3y plus 30 over y plus 1. This was equal to a power 5. So I need to calculate here power 5 both sides. I will write here 1 power 5, 2 power 5. So a power 5 will be 1 power 5 is 1, 2 power 5 is 32. Now we will plug in our substitution back. So I will write here 3y plus 30 over y plus 1. This is the value of a power 5 equal to 1 and 3y plus 30 over y plus 1 equal to 32. Now we will cross multiply. We will write 3y plus 30 equal to y plus 1. Now we will take y to the LHS. 30 to the RHS. So I can write 3y minus y will be equal to 1 minus 30 or 2y will be equal to minus 29 or we can write y will be equal to minus 29 over 2. Now we will solve second equation. Let's cross multiply 3y plus 30 equal to 32y plus 32. Now we will take 3y to the RHS, 32 to the LHS. So I can write minus 2 will be equal to 29y. From here I will write y will be equal to minus 2 over 29. So we have two real y values. Let me write here y equal to minus 29 over 2 and minus 2 over 29. Now x plus 1 was y. So in place of y I can write x plus 1 
equal to minus 29 over 2 minus 2 over 29. Now we will subtract 1 from both the sides. We will get our final answer as minus 29 over 2 minus 1 and minus 2 over 29 minus 1. So we can take LCM. We will be getting minus 31 over 2 and here we will be getting minus 31 over 29. So these are our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.